He bought it's more been weird things. Twelve days since I got stuck in the dryer, and I'm starting to lose hope. I'm hungry. I'm bored. I've pooped in here, and it stinks. Maybe it's for the best. Maybe I should just accept the inevitable and embrace Holy shit, what I know is coming. Hey, little guy, can you give me a tug? You want me to promote you first? Well, joke's on you. I was gonna do that anyway. Guys, this is my limited edition hey, YouTube, I'm, gonna put one in I'm a so jar. excited about it. I'm gonna I got to work with the design jar. team to come up with the figure Yay, as well as the box, and I'm Yay. so happy with how everything turned out. I've always been jealous of all the other YouTubers who have one of these bad boys, but really? now it's I'm their not. turn like to shit. be jealous of me. A guy who's been stuck in a dryer for two weeks. We're also giving away one of these for free. All you gotta do to enter is go to drewgooden.youtubes.com and drop your name in the metaphorical hat that will be drawn from uh, metaphorically. By that I mean you gotta click on some stuff. All right, so you gonna help me out? Whoa! Wow, you're pretty strong. Thanks, so better than the pop the figures? Hey guys, I think, to... I actually think the Funko Pops are better because they have like a same, because people who buy Funko Pops usually have a ton of other Funko Pops and then it has the same consistency. The UPS truck I stole while the driver was like going to the bathroom. Here's I don't like Funko Pops either though. from an Instagram ad I got yesterday. My teeth are so clean. If they were the floor, I'd eat off them. I would eat off of my teeth if my teeth were the floor. What does that mean? Because that's how clean they are. Lisa, I don't know who you are, but that is one of the weirdest marketing quotes I've ever heard in my life. Even weirder, it was an ad for toilet paper? Another thing I've noticed more <laughs> lately is these sponsored posts are coming up with more and more ways to manipulate me. This is your sign to go by these fans. No, it's an ad. It's not a sign from the universe. Oh, is God telling me to buy these pants? No, you are. You paid money to show this to me. Eat a dick. So anyway, have two or fifty known between true. Six weeks, uh, but I took a break from being pissed off at these companies for just long enough to <laughs> buy a few of these products to test them out myself. You know the drill. I don't even know why I'm explaining. Now I'm not exactly known for my awesome hair. I think Danny and Curtis have Uncle me beat in that department. <laughs> but maybe my problem is my outdated method of style. For the past few years, I just used some kind of paste that I bought from. Target, I think, and I rub it around my scalp until I get bored of uh, rubbing my scalp and then I shrug and walk away. So that's kind of my process. But this right here could very well change the game. You can go from this to this faster than the time it'd take you to finish watching this ad. Don't believe me? Don't believe me? This ad is four hours long, just in case. Just sprinkle some tribal chimp hairstyling powder on your hair and style with your fingers. It's that easy. Can you believe I didn't even have to go to a salon for this? Also, I love how almost every product I buy in these videos starts off like, hey, I know you don't know anything about us, you've never tried it, and you don't even know if it works, but would you like to go ahead and buy 12? No, I'm good with just the $74. one for now. $74.99 They on say sale multiple for times 24. on the website that you're saving money. How? This costs money. It doesn't seem to be any cheaper than, again, the random paste that I bought from Target. Maybe they just say it saves you money because it doesn't cost the fake price that they pretended it was. You know, these things used to be $41 billion. <laughs> so this sale is mathematically equivalent to being 100% Hey, if it works for you, I've great. Never seen before. When I was just about to finish checking out, they asked me for a tip, which I have to say, the balls on these guys to ask for more money just because. It's kind of impressive, honestly. So I'll go ahead and give them one extra dollar just for the audacity. But in return, I do expect impeccable service. All right, next up is one I saw a lot before Valentine's Day. I had a few people ask me about this directly, so I figured I'd try it out myself. It's called The Love Box. Where was this when Amanda and I did long distance for a year? So many styles to choose from. A hundred? Should I get the one for grandparents? Oh, is that I'm a I'm dying hartusi? to know why this one is specifically only for elderly couples, but I'll just go ahead and get the standard one for now. Not a whole lot to say about this before I buy it. It basically just seems like a slightly more romantic 
but significantly more expensive way to send a text. Now let's get into the truly dumb shit. Hey, I got one of those for free. That, remember? Chopsticks for your hands. I'm so excited to put this to the test. I can use it while writing scripts, while gaming with the boys. Hell, maybe if I bought one of these two years ago, my keyboard wouldn't be so dirty. The one thing I definitely do want to give them credit for is being so self-aware. A lot of companies take themselves way too seriously, and it feels pretentious when it's for some bullshit product. It'll be some guy giving a four minute TED talk about how his idea is changing the world and how many testimonials he gets every single day from people telling him that he saved their life. And then it's an ad for like pants. When I saw them describe this as <laughs> completely unnecessary, but pretty cool with features like non-permanent body modification. I was like, all right, maybe they're not that bad, I guess. So I bought one. Speaking of solving problems no one actually has, one. I would like to it introduce you to my it's favorite It's very frail. If you video. Are we really too expected hard to dress like, up when we're working from home? I'm over it. You're telling me? Introducing the work one -y. It's a full button-down professional t-shirt with ultra soft leisure pants made into a onesie. I'm comfortable all day wearing this. I can hang at home looking professional and feeling comfortable at the same time. There's even a flap on the back, just in case. Just in case what? Come on, don't beat around Wait, the bush. I want you to come out on and the say butt? that this product has a butt flap you can poop through. <laughs> one of my absolute favorite purchases of the year. Get one for yourself today, you won't regret it. All right, well, we'll see. Look, I totally understand the work shirt plus comfy pants combo. I've actually been doing the opposite for years. You probably don't even realize it because you only see t-shirts when I film, but I'm actually wearing tuxedo pants right now. So I get it, you know, if you can't see my legs, it doesn't matter what I'm wearing down there. But why? Does it have to be attached? Why can't I just wear a button-up shirt and then separately also wear Because they're trying to this is the one be an that entrepreneur. All. all of what? <laughs> a button-down professional-looking shirt, ultra-leisure bottoms, flap in the rear just in case. And if that wasn't enough, watch this for some reason silent video. Now are you convinced? What, you didn't believe that we actually stapled these things together? Read it and weep, cowboy. And it's convenient, too, because the one is ready to wear. Uh, unlike your other clothes, which have to go through a lengthy preparation process before my body will accept them. The cozy joggers on your one will have you forgetting you're in the middle of a workday. Well, I drive a school bus, so that sounds dangerous. Plus a butt flap. Need we say more? No. But again, I would love it if you did. Five stars, it's gotten cold where I live recently and this keeps me warm. Yep, that's because it's clothes, Howard. That's what clothes do. Five stars, five stars, five stars. I guess one of the problems <laughs> I'm realizing now with a product like this is what size do I get? What if I'm tall, but I have a little chest and wide, beautiful hips? You'd think in the 1800 years they've been around, they would have figured oh this God. out by now, but apparently not. I guess I'll just get a large. And I thought that this was the end of that saga until immediately after I bought this, Instagram did like the least helpful thing possible and advertised an almost identical product from a different company. It's called a tuxi, and there is no way in hell I'm gonna pass up the opportunity to do a direct comparison. The main difference is, of course, this isn't so much a business on top, party on the bottom kind of thing. It's more like two halves of a jogger set that have been sewn together for absolutely no reason. I am so confused by these things. Is it a common complaint that a sweatshirt and sweatpants are too difficult to put on separately? What is the issue being yeah. solved? Here. Was <laughs> someone getting pantsed so often that they decided to make it an all or nothing deal? On top of that, Tuxi is stupidly expensive. $200 and they don't even have a butt flap. As of now, this jogger only has one review and it's positive, but this YouTube video I clicked on only has one comment and it's negative. <laughs> so I don't know who to believe. I have microscopically no low flap. expectations for these. I love sweatpants. 
I love to lounge. Never in my life have I thought, you know what would make me more comfortable right now? If I couldn't go to the bathroom without getting completely naked first. But hey, at least Honey woke up from a three year hibernation to save me about 40 bucks, so things are looking up. Okay, last up is one of the most targeted ads I've seen in a very long time. A few months ago, I had been on kind of a jigsaw puzzle kick. I know, humble brag. But once the algorithm picked up on this, it was game over for me. Uh, I just started I was getting puzzles I was doing a puzzle with Brandon when he was in Canada last year, and then he had to leave before we finished it, and then we just fucking threw it all out, because there's no way for me to transport it. Down my throat left and right. This one in particular even uses my birthday in the ad. I haven't felt this attacked since before I deleted my Facebook. Really what I want to do is expose oh, this entire again. operation. They claim that there is a possible solution for every single day of the year. Well, I call bullshit. So I'm gonna buy one and prove them wrong. By not being able to solve it? Wait, what's my plan? First things first, I gotta do something about this. Sure, I may look exactly as dumb as I used to in middle school, but at least I have tribal chimp hair dirt. Ooh, let's see, I'm actually curious. My hair. Cool. A bunch of it already spilled out the top like a thing of baby powder. This is nice. What was I supposed to do again? Just sprinkle some tribal chimp hairstyling powder on your hair and style with your fingers. And in my eyes and mouth. Right, let me put some on my hand. I think that's the problem. Maybe my hair's too long for this. I don't know. I feel like I'm not doing it right. Do I have to use like a shit ton of it? He didn't use very much in the video. That's close to how I usually do it. But if I, I feel like as soon as I start walking, the movement from my walk will just shift it all down. I mean, this is probably good for like a more subtle hairstyle, but I like to have mine up for some reason. I don't know. I started much. doing my hair that way six years ago and just <laughs> like, okay, I guess this is my hair now. You know, I can't veer from that. I gotta do the same thing forever. I have really fine so it's a scam. hair. I always just, feel like you, saw, just goes you can straight. just buy cheap ones. Yeah, all the shit that you see on Instagram, Instagram ads, it's like some dude trying to sell you shit from his personal Instagram account because he's trying to be the next entrepreneur, self-made millionaire. Literally just find the same type of product at an actual hair store and buy that instead. Because there's probably hair powder that already exists that's way better. It down, But this adds like more texture to it, which is fun. Just a little bit more. I think I'm making it worse. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's like everywhere. Oh, this is Bim Bim's bathroom, by the way. You're only allowed to come in here if you're wearing a shirt with her face on it. I mean, I don't want to say the product is bad. I'll try it again when I get a haircut. I think if I had shorter hair, it wouldn't have to do as much work. It looks pretty interesting until I turn my head. It <laughs> looks like I just took a nap on this side. Let me if I try the dab man. All right, I think I'm just gonna have to ride with this for the rest of the video. Not exactly how I would normally do it. Kind of looks like I'm wearing a wig now. <laughs> well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm starting to feel a little underdressed. This is a place of business, after all. Hey, fun fact about work oneies, the website no longer exists. I did manage what? to have it sent to me in time, um, but yeah, if you go to workoneies.com, it's just like, well, I don't know what that is. Which is a little disappointing because if I really like this, you know, I can never get another one. I can't recommend it to anybody, but also it makes sense. It was a business that was kind of always doomed to fail that relied on a gimmick that wore off like two years ago. Look, you got a butt flap. So rest in peace, work oneies. In honor of your memory though, I will be wearing the absolute shit out of this. Wow. It's even more professional than I imagined. <laughs> it looks about right. I really love how visible the stitching is on the front of the shirt. Like you can see a clear line across where they've oh. sewn the two things together. God. Wait, how do I put this on? Do I have to unbutton it all the way and then step into the top? This is the dumbest invention. This is so much more convenient than putting two articles of clothing on separately. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm ready for work now. Well, right away, I can tell you I'm glad I got a large because this feels tight. If I'd gotten a medium, how do you go to the toilet? It has a butt flap. Weird, I can't seem to raise my arms up all the way. It's almost as if there's something tugging at the bottom of my shirt. Oh, that's right, it's my pants. Imagine I'm typing a Excel document. Hello, boss. You wanted to see me? You're firing me? Because I sewed sweatpants to my work shirt? This is crazy. It's almost like I'm wearing actual clothes. So, question about the butt flap. I'm wearing underwear right now, um, because obviously I'm gonna Wait, do so that. you're not supposed to be to, wearing you know, go underwear? to the bathroom out the back, I would have to not be wearing underwear because even with the butt flap, 
the underwear would get in the oh, way. Oh yeah, I didn't I'm think saying. about that. So everyone's just like raw dog in this thing. I suppose if I wanted to wear underwear, which I do, I could open the butt flap, sit down, pull my underwear down far enough under my pants still, and then just kind of poop through the hole. Probably wouldn't be able to use my bidet because then I'm just gonna get my pants all wet. <laughs> the important thing is though, I mean, I look like a freaking businessman. And if I crop it just enough that you can't see what's down there, you're going to assume very nice khakis, not very cheap sweatpants. But just overall experience would have been a lot nicer if they were separate. I have to confess something. I'm really bad at this puzzle. When I first unboxed this, it was February 1st, and I managed to get that day's answer in like a minute. And I was like, hell yeah, this puzzle's made for me. I'm gonna dominate this shit. It has been over a month and a half, and that's still the only one I've been able to solve. I can get so close. I've gotten February 423rd, I've got the 1724th, I even managed Saturday, March 12th, 15th. But oh my god, I don't know how I did this on my first try. I realized when comparing this to the original ad that this one does actually seem more difficult because they've added in the day of the week too. So I'm basically playing on hard mode. But still, no excuses, I'm ashamed, I thought I was the puzzle king. It turns out, in fact, that I was wrong. Now, there's a chance that maybe this company's full of shit, and some of maybe them actually it, yeah, aren't what if it possible wasn't solvable? to solve. The problem is, of course, I will never be able to prove that because the issue could uh, just be that I'm a big dumb idiot. Love Wait, box. I feel like you I can easily write box. a script to solve that. Thank Thank you. Honestly, this thing's pretty cool. Um, we've been using it for like a month. It's a fun replacement for good morning texts. That's kind of the yeah, only time we really use it. Yeah, you just have to fill the Before shapes. I go to bed, I'll like schedule Not that one I know anything morning about for coding, Amanda, or she'll do the same I just for know me. It's Which works because we wake up at drastically different times. You send stuff from an app, and it's got some pre-made stuff in there. It's a cool way to send a little I love you message. Wait, it has or, to be plugged you know, into a meme at from all six times. years ago. Like, there's a lot of things you could text someone that aren't really that funny but for some reason if you send it through this thing and they go through the process of like opening it up and it's on like a physical object it just makes it 10 times funnier the photos have to be like a really specific size which is kind of annoying so it could be better it's also like I said we've been using it for a month I think the novelty kind of wore off we were using it a bunch and now we do it maybe once a week I don't like that it has to be about it. but if you're really struggling to get someone like an anniversary gift or a Valentine's Day gift I know there's 11 months until Valentine's Day but I actually don't know when you're watching this you could be watching this on February 13th, Wait, 2028. So you have to buy two. I didn't realize until after I bought one how insanely popular these things are on TikTok. We're talking like millions of likes. So there's probably plenty of reviews on YouTube for this already, but as far as I'm concerned, it's an okay product. Uh-oh, guys, I think I spoke too soon. You know how these things cost like $150, and if you don't live with your partner and you wanna get two, you're gonna spend like $300 on these? Well, apparently that's not enough for Lovebox. Because now they've added a subscription service for $5 oh, a month. No. So if you wanna use like 90% of their stupid templates that have words spelled wrong and they spent like an hour working on, you have to pay more. Money. I gotta pay five dollars a month to ask my wife if she likes sunsets? Have I not given you enough money already? I just feel kind of duped here. Like they obviously did a really big marketing push, got a bunch of people to buy them, and now after the so fact expensive. they're adding the subscription service. That's not when even we first got this, there were you have to buy two. templates, but you could unlock them with credits, and you would get credits by sending messages. So it kind of incentivized you to send messages every day. It was actually kind of a neat system. But now the credits don't do that anymore. So so like, what are they even for? I have 152 digital coins and they don't do anything. But I can still earn them? Why? It's not like you have to subscribe to this to use the product, it but it's it still kind of scummy Holy that they shit. added this in so late. So that's just something to keep in mind if you do buy one of these. Well, I think that's enough work for one day. What do you say we go ahead and change into something a little more comfortable? I'm never gonna wear this ever again. This one shipped from Canada. Ooh. At least this one has more elastic in it. The other one, because it was stitched together, like there was no flexibility at all. <sighs> so how are you guys doing? 
<laughs> no, it's like the fucking god skin noble. I mean, I would hope so yeah. for 200 fucking dollars. Clearly, it'll be easier to get in and out of, too, because it's just got a big zipper as opposed to unbuttoning 30 buttons and then putting them back on. But I don't like how the zipper... How, like, I can always feel the zipper. Not poking like it's sharp, but it's just, like, pressing against my body, and I don't like that. I mean, I haven't really looked at myself in the mirror yet, but just looking on the screen of my camera, it almost feels more like, um, Jedi robes than anything else. The main difference for me, though, is that I actually <laughs> like things. I don't know, what do you guys think? Is this worth $200? It feels good. It feels comfortable. I no. feel like, though, Why um, wouldn't you just buy the separate just pieces? A guess. If I wanted to get a similar outfit that also had the flexibility of being in two separate pieces, I could have saved a lot of money and been just as comfortable. Cool. Well, I guess the only thing left to do now is time to eat stuff. I set myself up for a transition there and I don't remember what I said. Now, every so often, an invention will come along that changes the course of humanity, whether it's sliced bread or the automobile or little chopsticks for your hand. I think that okay, is the so same one. it goes between your fingers and Oh, I didn't know that's how you're supposed to use it. I just together. like clamped However, it However, like for this to be an authentic tongs. experience, I can't be fully focused on the snacks I'm eating it, otherwise it, I would eat them with my hands. It, it, I have to be it, it doing something. It only works on else. like super so, light. While I'm these snacks, I will be playing my favorite Stuff. video game, which is, of course, uh, Wheel of Fortune for the Xbox 360. For this experiment, I tried to get three snacks of varying sizes to test effectiveness. We got almonds, which are pretty much as small as it gets when God, it comes he's to so healthy. I got some baby carrots as well. Uh, I only put a couple in here because these went bad like three days ago, and I'm probably only going to eat one if I'm being honest. But those represent the medium snacks, and then large is, of course, an apple oh, slice, which I cut this up like 30 to. minutes ago, and they're already turning brown. So gotta hurry this up, spin the wheel, and the grab. Well, I just wanted one almond. I guess I'll have two. Indulging, huh? Oh, fuck you. I got bankrupt. <gasps> Honestly? So far, so good. I can grab them pretty easily. Well, okay, I guess I'm kind of fumbling a little bit here now. Yeah, it works pretty well for small snacks. Let's move up in size. My theory is that the yeah. the bigger the snack, the harder it will be to pick up. So far, that's kind of true. Here, let me do it with the controller. The real challenge is continuing to play the game while holding on to the rest of it. I'm squeezing like every muscle in my right hand, so I, I'm not actually playing the game right now. Yeah, this works. And this carrot tastes like shit. This is where it might get a little tricky. These apple slices are huge. To mix up the task, I decided that this time I will be sending an email to my wife. Dear wife. How's it going? It's kind of hard to type at the same time. I can't wait to uh, see you. Oh, fuck. Uh-oh. It's all falling apart now. Now that you get back from work. Love you. I think that went pretty well. Practically speaking, <laughs> um, I don't know how often I would actually use this. If I was eating, like, Cheetos or some kind of chip that would get dust all over my keyboard. I'd give it a shot. But unless you're playing a game as chill as Wheel of Fortune for the Xbox 360, I don't think you're gonna be able to multitask as effectively as the ad made it seem. Like, I don't think you're gonna be able to eat an entire banana while fighting a boss Another thing is if you grip it too hard to the- Or can you? The handles will like slip past each other like this. Hey, that's where I am. Can't even pick it up. Don't spin. Game's so easy. He's using summons! I hate this game. All right, so it's been a few days of wearing my onesies, and I have more Pussy! Thought. Despite not having a butt flap, Tuxie is actually easier to go to the bathroom in because you can just... Unzip he it has bloodhouse step too. I know pussy. all the ladies out there. You're a pussy, Drew. Worn a romper before. This is a far too familiar experience. Is it ideal? No, but it's not the worst thing in the world. The work one 
is the worst thing in the world. There's even a flap on the back, just in case. You see, when I picture a butt flap, I picture something that like has a hinge. It needs you know, a it female ass it worship That's pants. not what this is. Oh, Let he me should try that. to you in very specific detail what it's like to use the bathroom while wearing one of these. And if you want to skip ahead past this, I totally understand. Just go to the next chapter in the video. First things first, the hole in the back does not stay Thanks, open Phoenix unless you are physically chance. holding it open. If you let go, it will close itself back up. So, in order for this to work, you have to sit down on the toilet, hands behind you, gripping open the hole in your pants the entire time. So much for responding to texts or doing today's Wordle while going to the bathroom. Now it's a full body experience. But that's not even mentioning the fact that your underwear also has to be held down with one of your hands. And if you've been keeping Holy track shit. at home, you might have noticed we've already run out of hands to use. Am I supposed to get a friend to help? But wait, yes. there's more because now it's time to watch. Wipe, which means <laughs> you will have to hold open both sides of just the butt don't flap wipe. and pull your underwear down with one hand. Wait, just so wipe use with your the other flap. hand to reach in there and clean everything up. And I'm supposed to do that every day? So I ask you again, work oneies, just in case what? Just in case I want to add stress and danger to what used to be one of the most relaxing parts of my day. <laughs> one and there's still went out of business, one more so. element to this that I've yet to discuss. While all of this is going on, do you have any idea where your dick is? It's still inside the work one. And I don't know about you guys, but when I go number two, my body likes to also go number one. It's kind of involuntary. I don't think there's a way to just do one without doing the other. So unless you want to do all of that and just pee your pants, rotate it like those have to rotating make sure doors. You've already peed beforehand. So you got to stand up, undo all the buttons in the front. That's right. They couldn't even give this thing a zipper. Make sure all the pee is out because you don't want any leaks. And then you can. <laughs> All right, I think I get it. I'm just going to skip all past all this. Just, and now there's water everywhere. And which what? Means I got to mop up my own. I'm sure that if I made a little bit of a mess in here. Sorry for you. I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at the toilet. I don't know who invented this thing, but I just hope that they're in jail. All right, well, let's go they ahead and hear be. a word from today's sponsor. They did oh, close geez. down the website. Never been more relieved to listen to an ad. Today's video is sponsored by Current, and as usual, uh -huh. they are here to help me give away $5,000 to you guys. For a chance to win, click the link in the description, download the app, and use my code DREWINTEREST for one entry into the giveaway. We'll be giving away $500 to 10 different people. Overdraft up to, to $200 without of, any uh, overdraft. Melania? So if you're interested people in Current and you want to go read more and download and the then, app, go to current.com slash DREWINTEREST for a chance. And then one of the videos I went on, the dude was beating her ass in the first stage, and then the second stage he summons his his mimic or whatever. And then you know how after you beat her, she goes like, your strength, extraordinary. And the top comment was saying, when she said that your strength was extraordinary, she was talking about your mimic. I think I have to poop.